What's up guys, I'm doing some love for video today, so a few videos ago I did a video where I react to TikTok for you paid videos, so basically videos where I react to things my TikTok for you page and basically give you guys what's on my for you page because my for you page is very interesting. I've done like several videos of these in the past but I haven't done one for quite a while so I thought you know what I'll do today an updated version of what's on my TikTok for you page. One thing about TikTok is that the for you page like the for you page on TikTok if you don't know is like personalised to you so if you watch something on, on like a for you page like let's just say if you watch something like a baking video and you watch it for like something like more than three seconds throughout the duration of the video actually TikTok will keep like sending like several videos that same thing like the same subject on your view page and before you know it your entire view page is like literally full of baking stuff which can be a good thing sometimes but then sometimes it can be not a good thing because if you watch something like i don't know someone's like died somewhere and you watch the entire thing on your view page and unfortunately all your view page becomes like negative and full of like like news about someone dying or something and stuff like that so TikTok for you pages can be a good thing and sometimes it can be a bad thing so luckily my for you page is all right at the minute it's like nothing bad's happened um, on my for you page so that's pretty good anyway so I thought today I'd react to my for you page and look at all the interesting videos that I've emerge on my for you page. So yeah, if you're excited, look, look, look at the like and video, scratch, I'll do all the things. So if you're well, subscribe to my vlogging channel as well, where I'm vlogging every single day, or at least trying to vlog every single day. And so yeah, let's watch some TikTok videos, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna screen record my TikTok now, my phone. Oh no! The speech that a toxic oh, manager gives you when it. you tell them you're leaving. Oh, you should have spoken to somebody about this. We're here to support you. We didn't know you were feeling like this at all whatsoever. Honestly, you know, I understand that work can be tough at times. Well, they yeah. don't. Oh, it's just, it's such a shame, darling. It's such a shame that you decided to leave us now. Wait, oh, yeah, that's like so true. I remember once I was working in this like place for like a very short while. I was working at a pub and obviously I hated the place. It was like so sort of like... Let's say toxic and not a very good place to work. So obviously I quit. In fact, I didn't even like give a notice because I was only there for like a trial shift. You know, like trial shifts they often give you and like don't pay for it because I had like that like, like one night at the bar. I was spoken to quite rudely by the supervisor and manager. Like it was like, a very sort of toxic workplace. Even though I didn't get paid for this trial shift, I still had to do an entire night in the same like, bar. And when I like kind of like left like mysteriously disappeared he like found me was like oh it's only we can do like da, 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 da. and like i just like knew that they were gonna say all this stuff and like not kind of do it so i just kind of like put the phone down like didn't even make one attempt to contact them again <gasps> bully wonka i didn't, I didn't know there's a new bully wonka movie coming out it's called the wonka movie I don't know that. You learn something every day. My wife's a lawyer. My wife's an accountant. My wife still doesn't pass her GCSE maths. Through Tiga Aero, the future we were promised but never delivered. Oh, I remember all these. Oh, I remember when Windows was like all like green and like blue. That was like Windows Vista where it was all like very sort of green and blue and aesthetic. I remember we had like a family computer and it was like run by like Windows Vista and it was like all nice and aesthetic and blue. Reminds me of a childhood. Look at that office. I would love to just dive into that building. Oh. oh, I remember this. Windows Vista Wallpaper Pack. I remember like the leaf one. Okay, look how a new notification pops up saying, where to next? The world is your oyster with Uber, apparently. Even though it's like, it costs like 30 pounds to get like down the road. My last thing is like all the time actually, it's like wild, natural, refillable deodorants. Okay, I've been seeing it like all of my few page where they're advertising it's like refillable deodorants and to be honest I don't know how like I don't know how you do it like how would you refill deodorant do you just get like a stick of like soap and just shove it back in like a bottle someone please enlighten me how you're supposed to get a refillable deodorant what is this it's a live stream 
Okay, we've got a bit of Michael Jackson, along with like running man running on trees. Wait, why is it so satisfying to watch? <laughs> I want to see if like fall sounds somewhere. I don't think you will, but why is it such a bad thing to wish? I love how I'm wishing for this character to fall down a building. I'm evil. Can you? I remember the Wii. I used to have a Wii actually, and I used to have like remote control as well. And you know how I used to always tell you to like use a strap thing? Like every single game that they are, like there was always like an advertisement thing saying you had to wear a strap. Like go to your remote in case you like do a bowling thing and you hit the TV with your remote because you accidentally threw the remote. I never used to wear a strap because, you know, because I was like a rebel. And I used to play Wii Sports. And one of the things in Wii Sports is you had like remote control and you played like bowling. So obviously when you bowled, you used to like use these Wii remotes kind of like this to like bowl the ball if you remember and I didn't wear a strap. I did it with like such force that the remote control flew out my hand and luckily it didn't hit the TV and it hit like this like wooden TV cabinet which like in front of it. He like barely touched the TV but it hit this like wooden TV cabinet which it had and it left like a massive like dent in the TV cabinet. You know, always wear your we remote control straps kids because that's what happens so it's true you can smash your telly up into bits because you haven't just like worn your strap in fact like those stories actually were someone's like smashed the telly into bits because he threw the remote the Wii remote to the tv all right so that's all the videos which i'm going to react to today so yeah it's been quite a good troll through those videos. And um, yeah, I hope you're watching this video. If you have, so if you like and share, scratch out the wall, the things. Let me know what video is something to do next time. And um, let me know if you, want, if you want like a part, I don't know, of me scrolling through TikTok. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Um, for now, it's goodbye for me. So bye.